Hello friends, how is everyone doing? Yes, I am not buying makeup for an entire year. Okay, kind of. So, I started this challenge with a friend, Joyce. Hello, Joyce, if you are watching. Um, at the end of 2018, we made a little pact together that in 2019, we will not buy any makeup. And the only rule that we gave ourselves was that we could buy something if we needed to replenish. And um, there is absolutely nothing that I needed to replenish except for mascara. And that was the only Thing that I have bought in the last six months or so. I figured that it is the half year mark so I might as well do a video and announce it to you guys. I honestly was a little scared to tell people because I'm like oh my god what if I crack? What if I fail? I'd have to hold myself accountable. Everybody would know. Oh my god. But um, we've made it this far. Every time I feel like I'm about to crack I text Joyce. <laughs> And she sets me straight. She's been um, really helpful in keeping me on this path. So yeah, we're not buying makeup. Let's get into that a little later. We're gonna start with the makeup now, um, but I did get this, okay? So today's makeup is inspired by Red Velvet's new um, music video, the Zim Zada Bim Bim, Zim Zada Bim Bim, Zim Zada Bim Bim. Anyways, um, I can't really say that it's like a tutorial for it because the makeup look that I saw was probably only in like two frames, so it was really quick. And um, I don't even know if these are like the real colors that they did, but the point, you will see the main point of the makeup later. So let's go into it. Okay, we're going to start with foundation. I'm actually going to use a high coverage foundation. This is from The Ordinary, and I already have my base on. I have moisturizer and sunscreen. I've been on a huge sunscreen journey. Maybe I'll explain something about that in another video, but um, here we are today. I'm using the Super Goop one. I'm going to do the tiniest pump since this is a high coverage foundation and if it is coverage enough then i probably won't even wear um concealer <laughs> we'll see let's start at the area under the eyes and that's where i want to focus most of the coverage so yeah uh no makeup 2019 it's been difficult i it was difficult from big from month one, you know, from January, because in that month, um, I think Rihanna launched her new concealers, and then ColourPop had their uh, mascaras launched that month. Oh my god. I was literally, I can probably go back to our text and find it for you guys, but when we were discussing this challenge, um, we were talking about ColourPop and how they only needed mascaras left to um, allow their customers to do a full face of ColourPop, and sure enough right in that first month they did a 30 played us oh my god i'm so pissed that i can't try any of their mascaras i mean i guess i technically could have bought like the black one because i needed a new one but um i don't know i'll just save it for what i i really want to try the colored ones i don't want to i don't want to just buy a black one from them i really want to try their colored formula i've been wanting to do like a blue or um purple mascara look for the longest time and ugh next year you guys 2020 <laughs> i think i'm gonna need mascara i mean i think i'm gonna need a uh, concealer so let's go in with some concealer glossier so the only other exception to our um rules besides the running out replenishing thing is if we are gifted makeup it is okay but you know you can't be asking for makeup but if anybody decides to gift us makeup <sighs> thank you I got this little pimple visiting. And then right up here. Okay, since my face is a little, has been a little dry and the um, Super Goop uh, sunscreen kind of feels like, like a mattifying primer almost, I am not going to set my makeup with powder like I usually do. I'm just gonna leave this as is. We're gonna move on to the brows. Never gonna finish this, I swear. As you guys might know, Brows are my least favorite thing to do. I am just going to fast forward you through this. That was pretty quick and painless. Okay, so we're gonna go into the eyes now. And so, as far as the makeup look, I think what I saw on Joy specifically was um, like a light orangey, muted, dark yellow, in between type. I'm gonna try to 
screen cap that picture here it was really quick so um i'm gonna use this little situation i have here this is all color pop and i'm probably gonna go somewhere around here um i don't really know what i'm doing so we're just gonna start laying down some colors i'm gonna use this first color which is called running late so it is kind of like a very light orangey super warm orangey yellow i don't even know how to describe colors anymore here it is okay since I don't know what this color is going to turn out like, let's use a fluffy brush to get us started. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty okay. okay. You guys should go listen to Red Velvet's new song. It's super catchy and addicting. Okay, after laying all that color across the eyes. Oh, that looks pretty okay looks okay I'm gonna bring a little bit to the bottom lash just on the outer half to make it look more yellow I'm going to use um, this color it is called paper tiger look at that it's kind of like a muted like faded mustard color oh yeah it's definitely some dark mustard for you some of that yellow a bit of like a yellow yellowy yellowy brightness and use tiki this one's a little brighter than the other colors that we've been using so far i'm just gonna put that like on the crease area kind of blend it outward and up okay we're gonna stop there because i really don't know what i'm doing and i think it looks okay for now I am going to do a super, super thin liner with a dark brown color. This is from e.l.f. Um, super, 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 super thin. As thin as I can, just to give some um, definition to the eyes. Now you got, I didn't even bring it inward. I kind of just kept it out here and blended it toward the center. Super thin, barely there. So to make the lash line look a little fuller, I'm going to go in with a uh, eyeliner pencil. Oh my God, my a little brain fart uh, i'm gonna use this revlon eyeliner pencil to do the waterline on top does this look weird yes gonna open my mascara to get it directly because we're gonna go into the lashes now i decided to get something from l'oreal because when i was looking up um good drugstore brand uh, mascara l'oreal um kept coming up in different ones people suggested the telescopic ones or the lash paradise one and um i was like hey it's pink let's get it kind of reminds me of the um two face one the better than sex one right okay so now i am just going to curl my lashes you know i was so tempted to buy um new falsies at the beginning of the year because i really wanted to do more like wispy falsies because i feel like the ones that i have the false lashes that i have are really dramatic but um that counts as a makeup item um and i am nowhere near running out of any of the ones that i already have so i can't buy any okay let's give this a whirl this is going to be brand new i've never used it before i did buy the waterproof uh, formula because it keeps the curl well, let's see how it goes. If I end up hating this, too bad. I'm gonna have to use it for the rest of my time. Oh, wow, ooh. Can you guys see that? That did a pretty good job already, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, my god. Oh my god, this did such a good job. Is this camera focusing? Come on, wow. Okay, the initial application is pretty good. Let's see how this holds um, its curl throughout the day. Wow. You know, I always cross my arms like this when I apply my left eye. Is that weird? I don't go like this. I can't do that. I gotta cross them. Wow, look at that, you guys. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, drugstore okay okay so now i'm gonna be doing something that i don't normally do which is put mascara at the bottom lashes um because i think this look might call for it this is never pretty so bear with me 
Okay, you can barely see it because I have no lashes, but it's there. Um, whoever can put on lower uh, lash line mascara and look cute still, um, that's a skill. So, congratulations to you. <laughs> I feel like this pimple is coming back out. I want to say hello. So I'm gonna put a little more concealer. Put a little bit more concealer on this pimple. We're gonna go into the face. I'm gonna keep it really simple with a warm cheek color. And my favorite one, where are you? Oh, here it is. It's from this palette. Oh my god, look, I've hit pan, you guys. <gasps> this is from ColourPop. They don't have this anymore, but I love this color. It's like a warm, like, skin tony type color. I cannot believe I've hit pan on it. Oh, But look how beautiful this color is. And while we're here, why don't we just use this highlight? It's a beautiful highlight. Ooh! Oh my god, it still surprises me every time. <laughs> Let's get real cute with the nose highlight. Okay, really sheer lips with the ultra blotted lip in vitamin C. I am so bummed that ColourPop just released like four new um, ultra blotted lip colors. I want them so bad. Okay, and the main point of this whole makeup look was actually a super quick scene where I saw them use like little dots on the eyes. So in Irene's, um, on Irene's face, you can see them more prominently because she has like three or four dots that kind of do like a little wing liner um, in red but um, I'm pretty sure it was Joy because it closed in on the eyes but it didn't show the whole face but it was the part where she was singing so I think it was her but I think it was on Joy's face um, they had two little dots right in the center of the eyes I'm gonna try that with um, a liquid lip gloss actually a, a liquid lipstick because I don't have I probably have I think I have a red eyeshadow but I don't think it's going to be pigmented enough and um, I don't have a red liner. And the only other thing that's red is this. I've tested it on my hand, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't stain if I do want to take this off for the rest of the day. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this look for the rest of the day, but um, let's just let's just do it. It's okay, I'm gonna use the end of a really thin brush. This is a Laura Mercier like Mercier Mercier uh, concealer brush, something like that. But I'm just gonna use the tip of it. I am going to grab. I don't even, will this, okay, let's just watch. I'm gonna grab a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little bit on the end here. I don't even know if you can see it. Anyway, you'll see it on my eye. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna look straight into the mirror and then go directly uh, below my pupil. Oh, okay, that's not enough. Got a little bigger dot this time. Oh. Other eye. Oh, I kind of like it. Oh my god. I said, oh my god, the other day, and my mom repeated me, and I thought it was the cutest thing. <laughs> she was laughing so hard. Anyways, um, do I want to attempt to make it darker? I think, maybe, just for the sake of this video, make it bigger. Sorry, did I just like close in too much? I'm getting like kind of nervous about what it's gonna look like. Kind of cute, right? I think it's pretty adorable. Okay, okay. I think it's um a subtle statement. Um, it's still a little strange, but I think it's pretty cute. Hey, it's kind of like when people put um little gems on the eyes, except this doesn't glisten. Ooh, if it was like a red gem, that'd be pretty cute. Maybe I should do a gem next time. Okay, another video, okay? This pimple is like coming back out to play. Oh my god, let me like put some, let me put something else on him. Okay, before I find any other flaws, I'm going to call that a day. Look at that, <gasps> cute. I think it's super cute, subtle, but um, a little bit of a statement, like I said before. It is, I don't know, will I wear this out? It's, mm, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm glad you guys were here to see this, to witness this uh, experiment. But uh, yeah, as far as the challenge goes, I have 
another six months to go. Uh, now that you guys are in on this with me, I will be held accountable by each and every one of you guys. Um, I definitely will hold myself accountable because I will not let myself down. I will find it a huge failure if I crack. And um, yeah, just for my own personal goals, I will hold on to this. I feel like um, as I've done this challenge, I've found uh, that I don't want to buy anything anything in excess anymore like even clothes like I love shopping still and I love fashion and everything but um, Before I would just be like online shopping putting things in my cart like constantly even if I wasn't checking out I was always on websites just looking but um, This year I haven't done that that often. So uh, I think it's kind of like uh, Melding itself this challenge into other aspects of my life and um, I am focusing on you know uh, bigger things out there like um, health I'm trying to be uh, in the gym better uh, just touching on other creative aspects of my life and yeah you guys will be here with me and um, I'll keep you guys updated probably at the end of the year or uh, next year when I buy a shit ton of stuff so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye